The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 542. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have an amazing lady on the show today. She is the founder of Yingfluence and Your China Green Pass, and I'm really excited to have her on and share her story with us today on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Ying Ying Li. Ying Ying, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Hi, everyone. Very, very happy to be here and talking with you, Sheena, and also with our dear, great audience. Such a wonderful pleasure to be able to share my journey and my stories about why and I'm here and building a cross-cultural bridge with everybody. And hopefully I could share a little bit more stories and can help more young female leaders in the future to build more cross-cultural bridges with me. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Ying Ying, what's your cultural background? I grew up in a very traditional place called Kaifeng, which is about uh, 3,000 years old. We're literally where China was born, and central China. It was the capital city of northern Song Dynasty a thousand years ago. Very traditional place, but I get a chance to travel and live and work in different cultures such as India, Turkey, and Brazil, Utah, United States, and now San Francisco, Silicon Valley. It was quite a unique experience for me to live and study and work, influence these cultures, and I got influenced by the culture as well. So that's basically, I feel, from very traditional, very conventional place to quite liberal and unconventional place, I literally feel the need it's for bridging the cultures for bring people together by helping them to build their culture intelligence thanks for sharing that and what would be your favorite self-confidence quote i have a few actually i would like to say one of the two quotes that i always share with my friends is if you can speak you can influence and if you can influence you can change lives that's my quote for today. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's great, right? Sometimes we feel like we're not enough. And, you know, just if we, like you mentioned, if you can speak it, we can influence or look, if you can think it, you know, we can also have the ability to make it happen. So, you know, just simple things like this really help us realize our, our power and what we can do. So thanks for sharing that great quote. And Ying Ying, in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? Self-confidence is something born within, but you got to allow yourself to be thrown into a situation that can use external factors and pressure to drive you into a zone that you can bring out the best of you. So it's a force combined with external factors, environment you create and you encounter, as well as your internal journey, internal search yourself. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that great definition. And Ying, Ying Ying, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? I discovered my life, uh, my self-confidence uh, was an unexpected journey to India. But before that, I was uh, kind of uh, shy. I literally had the mistakes that I thought I was not as good as the girls in the big who was born and grew up in the big cities because I came from the fourth tier city in China, mainland China, where uh, my family is very traditional. And I thought that my voice is not that really valuable. And I never really imagined that I could solve a big problem in a very culturally different place when I was in India, when I myself 20 years old. I had to, to communicate with the local people to get myself out of a big adventure. By that time, I literally realized that, wow, I can't influence, I can't use my existing power, existing confidence to solve issues and truly to get myself in the right track uh, in a very interesting and different situation. So I solved the problem. It was like very hard issue to solve at that moment when I was 20 years old with broken English at the time. But I think I made it. And ever since that, I think my life has changed since I discovered that I have self-confidence. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's a great story. Sometimes, you know, when you travel to a different place, you know, you learn new things, you, you know, 
do things that you've never done before. Like you mentioned, you know, the, I'm sure the communication barrier wasn't easy, um, but you were able to do it regardless, right? And sometimes we might have to do the things that are difficult to get the message across. And, you know, like yeah. you mentioned, you were able to solve a big and hard problem and you never thought that was possible because you never thought, you know, you could ever do something like that. But, you know, because of that trip and what you've experienced, what's your life been like now? Yeah, I would say it's a transcendent, transcendent. I'll say that if not for that experience, that experience actually was meant for having a wonderful trip to India, experience the culture. But I expected I, I encountered something very difficult, very challenging. And I think because I was thrown to that situation that I was saying that it was uh, using the external factors, you know, asserting external challenges to really push push back to myself to make me do this self-discovery thing. I would encourage young girls and people who actually is listening to really, you never really know. You, you just need to create this, sometimes create this kind of so-called quote-unquote trouble or challenge for yourself in order to push the boundary to see how far you can go with your self-confidence. And there's something really worth trying. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's a great tip that you mentioned, you know, pushing your boundaries. You know, sometimes we're so we're so scared to take that leap of faith or like, you know, just go to the other side of that line. But, you know, it's not as scary as we think. And once we do go over that line, like it's, you know, we go back and wonder, like, what was what were we like freaking out about? Right. <laughs> so, but it, it's it's part of life. And it's it's a great discovery. And it just shows how much how capable we are and how much power we have as women, especially as Asian women, you know. So I really, I really love what you mentioned. And Ying Ying, you know, if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do and what you've been up to, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yeah, absolutely. You can always follow me and uh, my company, so a Facebook and Twitter account. And we, since we are building the cross-cultural bridges, we are not just in the Western social media, but we're also very active on Chinese and Asian social media. Because truly, that's one of the ways not to see one perspective, how we actually reach out to the great communities, but also culturally how we do it. I think we are trying to set example for helping the future female leaders, founders who have interest in doing cross-border business to see what we can do for to inspire and help them. Yeah, so um, best way to reach us is to be through our website, influence.com, and then connect us on Facebook and LinkedIn if they are Western media, social media user. But for WeChat, definitely we have influence, Ying Xiang Li, as my name or Ying Ying. So I call it so I create this brand in order to remind me that how important it is to be able to pursue what you're truly, truly passionate about and make a difference. Thanks for sharing that, Ying Ying. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Ying Ying, you can also head on over to the Tao of Selfconfidence.com and search for Ying Ying's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I really just want to thank Ying Ying for taking the time today to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm happy to talk to more entrepreneurial ladies and uh, female leaders to see that how we can make a great difference globally. Totally. I, you know, I think that, you know, as we work together, you know, we can create more. So thanks for sharing that. And, you know, really great having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of another amazing woman's journey to self-confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of The Tao of Self-Confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com to check out cool resources, blog articles, show recaps, and so much more. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.